Welcome to this episode of Showcase Wedding. I am your host, Rebecca Martell. Today, I'm gonna to help you plan your wedding by introducing you to business owners that can give your special day that unique twist. Listen up, gentlemen. I am here with Jean Sebastien from Suitably, and he is going to teach you how to suit up properly. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Give me a little background on Suitably. How did it come about? So, Suitably started about three years ago. Uh, I spent about 10 years as a consultant, and I had the chance to uh, travel the world. Uh, one of the things that came up often was the fact that people wore a lot of suits. And one of the things that we saw was that, in terms of the choices in terms of the things that we had here in Montreal, uh, it wasn't as available. So what we did was we said, first of all, we need to create something that's number one, affordable, very accessible and customized. So we started Suitably uh, three years ago. So what makes Suitably different than going in and getting a rental for the day? There's a few things. So number one, price. We said we don't want to have a traditional store. So rather than having a store, we send somebody either to your home or your office uh, to choose hundreds from hundreds of fabrics, choose different types of linings, buttons, and styles. And uh, so we have that personalized service. Our company also offers on an online service where people can pretty much customize and choose all of their options online. How do you get an online customized suit? How does that work? So it's a very good question. Uh, we've put our most popular fabrics on online. And so people are able to use our platform and choose uh, fabrics, the styles. And once they're done, they either get measured by a tailor or enter their measurements. And we're also working on a technology that will allow us to extract measurements from you by submitting three different images of your body. Oh, wonderful. We look forward to seeing that. Now, a customized suit is something that someone can really put their own personality in. How does Suitably do that? Uh, one of the things that, that people are looking at, especially when it comes to weddings, is how to differentiate yourself. Uh, with, our, with social media, with Facebook, with Instagram, a lot of times many of our customers will say, well, I don't want to look like everybody else. I've seen a ton of pictures where guys are wearing black tuxedos, uh, black suits, which is fine, but a lot of people are now wanting something that's completely custom. And so in this day and age, what you're looking at is people are going to get married in suits for example, mine, which is a burgundy suit, or you're getting all types of funky colors that fit their personality. And so we provide that ability to pretty much create whatever you'd like. And you actually inject a lot of personality into the suits. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So a lot of times, especially for weddings, it's a compromise of choices between a groom and a bride. And so what happens is that oftentimes, a bride might want to choose the style or the colors, but we also provide uh, options such as um, linings, interior linings such as this one, where you're able to put uh, your, your, your name, the dates, and something that's completely fit to your, um, to your body. Something you can show off in photos or keep for a secret for yourself? Absolutely. We've had a lot of people actually put monograms uh, inside that are hidden and it's a secret little word between a groom and a bride. And when they wear it again, they get to see that every time. That's a Absolutely. wonderful idea. I love that. So when a groom is picking out a suit, how much does the bride usually have input on that? You know, it really depends on uh, the couple. We've seen all types of couples. We've had couples where the bride is pretty much asking for her name to be inside the suit and we have other couples that are okay with the groom making all the decisions on how he's going to look for the wedding. Of course we always take into consideration colors, styles, themes, outdoors, indoors and whatnot. You want her happy. Absolutely, we, like everyone says, happy wife, happy life. And I know that when a bride goes to pick out the dresses with their bridesmaid, they usually bring their entire bridesmaid or the whole team with them. Do you see that happening with the men as well? Absolutely. So a lot of the times when we'll send a tailor to someone's home, uh, a whole team or a whole group of guys will be there. And we facilitated the process by having a scanner like the one uh, here which is an infrared scanner. And as opposed, so rather than taking 15 traditional measurements, we're able to get a few hundred measurements and that allows the process to be a lot faster. So three uh, to four weeks in terms of delivery and 95% of the time we're getting a perfect fit. So when we get a full group, a whole team, a whole group of guys, it makes the whole process easier. And that's typically what we've seen. 
And because your website is so easy, so beautiful, that's going to help also with groomsmen that are outside of the city. Absolutely. So our platform is very easy to use. So in a lot of cases where uh, grooms will have friends that are in England, another city across North America, they'll get them to order online and uh, like I said, either put measurements or we'll be able to extract measurements based on the pictures that they provide us. And they're going to be set and looking good for all the photos for the day of. That's correct. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for sharing this beautiful bow tie that you guys offer as well. We want you to go on to Showcase Wedding, click on the link for Suitably, and you can get started building your own customized suit. I'm here now with Melina Catanzaro from Premier Avenue. It is a grand pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for coming and bringing these beautiful dresses from your store. Thank you. It was lots of fun. We had lots of fun trying on dresses. Yes, we did. When a bride comes down to the store to try out dresses for her bridesmaids, what's the first thing that she should know? Um, she should probably know when she's getting married, so pick a season. Um, if you know what season you're getting married in, then you want to pick a color from that. So there's colors that are more appropriate for fall, some colors are for winter, spring. Um, after that, you'll want to get a hold on your budget. Um, body type, is your bridesmaids, are they all the same? Are they tall? Are they shorter? Um, does the bride usually bring her entire squad with her? Or she, sh she, she should. She should. I think that's fair. Uh, if you're going to pick a dress for all your friends, they should probably be there for something like that. Um, I know we've kind of played dress up on Saturday nights, going out, getting ready. We've been doing this our whole lives. Um, so getting to officially dress your friend as opposed to commenting on what she's wearing is sort of like the greatest thing. Um, so you want to know. Um, who is your bridal party? Who are you bringing with you? Um, what is their body type? What do they love? What colors? Where, when are you getting married? What's in season? Um, those are really important things and your bridal party should have a say in that and I think your friends have good ideas. They did pick you as a friend so trust them, trust your gut. Now when I came to your store and we did play dress up, it was an abundance of choices. How do you help a bride narrow down or the... the... Oh my goodness, so we have an excellent team of stylists um, just me I know what I, I know our collection and I get so overwhelmed when I walk in which is why I shouldn't be doing it alone which is why I shouldn't be flipping through racks um, the best thing is to see one of our stylists they are so equipped for this they know our collection inside and out they've seen your body type a thousand hundred times they know what to look for they know what colors look good with your skin with if you tell them I want to wear my hair up or I want to wear my hair down this is the look I'm going for they will find the perfect dress for you so they're your personal stylist for the day you oh my them. goodness and they're so much fun they're super enthusiastic and they love the product what should a bridesmaid be bringing to the store when she's trying on dresses? Um, undergarments. So that's the first thing. Um, know your body type. If you're a girl that really needs coverage and support, make sure that your dress can allow for that. Um, a lot of dresses, either the straps show or bras don't necessarily fit. Um, so bring, in, bring your bra with you that you would wear that day and any other undergarments, spanks work really well yeah. if you want to. So but. really practice for the day of. Exactly. And you've actually brought a few dresses today. We did. What are the, what are um, the two that you brought? So the first one that you'll see is sort of a blue beaded um, bodice and it's super fun because it kind of has a slit that goes up really high but the way that it overlaps it just moves with you but it doesn't open you might feel like that and get a little nervous but it's super fun super sexy um, the next one is a sort of peach sparkle um, very crisscross detailed back um, again this one has straps the other one doesn't um, they're fun Cream and beige are a really popular color this year. Beads are a lot of fun. Um, so these are our two favorite dresses, I would say, from this season. And they kind of highlight the trends. Um, so that's it. And the two that you brought for us today is definitely something for our spring. Nice floral that uh, is seen so, this year. Yes, floral is in. And these two are our... Um, exclusive. So these are part of our exclusive collection made just for us at the store, which is lots of fun because you know nobody else has them, uh, which is like a real issue during the bridal planning. You're like, do I want to get this bridesmaid dress that's absolutely gorgeous, but 
you know, like a hundred other people might have it. So with a Premier Avenue exclusive, you know that it's really, really exclusive to us. Nobody else is going to be wearing this dress. And um, that's, that's it. An These are fun. Point. These yeah. are fun. These are beautiful. These definitely make you feel good. So go down to Premier Avenue, check out all the abundance of choices that they have, try on all the dresses, go to Showcase Wedding, click on their link and tell us which dress that you liked best. Did you know? Gold is still the classic choice for most jewelry. But did you know? 17 tons of gold are used in the US each year just to make wedding rings. Now in studio, I get to speak with Gino from Restaurant Sinclair. It's an absolute gem that is hidden in the old port of Montreal. Welcome studio. Welcome, thank you. Tell me a little bit about the restaurant Sinclair. What is the style of this restaurant? It's a very nice little uh, French restaurant in uh, the old port, the old Montreal. We're really secretive, I would say, but we cater to a lot of people in weddings. What is it that you offer to brides and grooms in this restaurant? We offer to uh, different facilities, obviously, like every hotel has uh, banquet facilities, but the most targeting for uh, weddings would be the restaurant itself because the restaurant is a secret weapon. And how is that? It's a secret garden. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful inside there. It's off of the hotel. Yes. And it's not something that is only used in the summertime either. No, you can sit in that restaurant and watch the snow uh, falling into dim lights uh, at night. It's really nice. I mean, it's open all year. And because you have the secret garden that's inside, it's actually a place that the brides and grooms use for a backdrop for photos, correct? Most of the time, yes, you're absolutely right. And also we do cocktails for, there are multi-functions for wedding. Remember, it's a small place, so therefore we can do the reception, we can do the cocktail, and then sometimes dinner as well, compared to other places would have been different a room of function yes. to that mother. I just imagine having beautiful cocktails as you're walking around exactly. the garden and then you sit down later. And there's so much history to it that's just surrounding you. Tell me about that. The history is um, a lot of, because the hotel is, let me rephrase, mostly on the hotel side. The hotels is one of the first boutique hotels built in old Montreal. Therefore, they use uh, genuine bricks from the establishment of Montreal. So overlooking the terrace in the garden, you can see uh, the surrounding of a magnificent history onto a wall. That is the beauty, and that gives a lot of character, and I would say charisma to an event. Mm, to the event, to the feeling, to the photos, you have everything there. Memorable nights. And not speaking of that, you have um, someone that helps out Debbie. She can help de-stress the wedding on the day of. Absolutely. How, how does she help? She's a gem. I would re repeat that all over and over. Um, we provide a wedding um, planning on site because the wedding that we do or the event that we do, they're not large, so there's no need for a wedding planner per se. We can take care of everything and all needs from the beginning. And she said she's there to help with anything that's being dropped off, anything that... Exactly. Uh, therefore, they, the bride and groom can really deal with themselves. Uh, they can enjoy themselves. Mm. From A to Z, we take care of everything. Wonderful. Well, again, it sounds like a beautiful secret garden Thank you. that's hidden in Montreal. We want you to go to Showcase Wedding. Click on the link for Restaurant Sinclair. But more importantly, Gino wants you to come down, meet him, and get a glass of champagne. I'm now here with Sonia Summit from Sachet Desserts, and she is going to share with us some of the sweet treats that she makes for brides and grooms. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So give me a little background on you and how this business started. Uh, so I did 15 years of pastry cooking in the Montreal area, and I decided I wanted to branch off on my own and start my own company. So Sachet Desserts has existed for three years, and we cater to restaurants and to cafes in the Montreal area. And what is it that you offer to couples on their wedding day? Well, we like to offer a variety of things, uh, but nothing uh, healthy, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, we specialize in desserts, so we can have wedding cakes, sweet tables, um, and we also offer, we try to offer unique products, such as our mason jar tiered cake. 
And what size weddings do you usually cater to? Well, we usually cater to about 50 to 200. Uh, we are a smaller team um, and we like to, you know, keep it small so that we can really give the bride and groom really what they're looking for. In your opinion, what is a mistake that's usually made when people are making desserts? Uh, we have a, you know, a tendency to see desserts being a, a very sweet on the sweet side. Um, so we try to like, we really like to try to um, accentuate whatever kind of se seasonal desserts uh, that we're using, seasonal ingredients. Um, we like to, to taste those ingredients, so we try not to over sweeten it too much. And what trends have you seen going on for weddings? Um, we've seen a lot of uh, vegan options, uh, gluten-free sensitivities, uh, things like that. So we try to cater a lot to uh, those kinds of needs. So, so when someone is a vegan and searching for a cake or different desserts, that's something that's quite hard to find, isn't it? I believe so. Um, I really think that it's also hard for uh, vegan and gluten-free uh, sensitivity uh, types of people to have uh, things that taste good. So we've really taken a lot of our time to try to accommodate uh, two vegan uh, sensitivities and also gluten-free sensitivities and try to make the desserts taste like you wouldn't even know that you're having something that's you know without butter or cream or eggs. How far in advance should a bride and groom be coming to you to pick out their menu? Ideally, we would like uh, two to three months. Uh, we could still do a month, but ideally I would say two to three months. And how many tastings does that get them? It gets them two. So the first is usually just to sit down, meet the bride and groom, get them uh, you know, comfortable with what we can offer them. And the second one is usually if they have any changes or kind of twerks uh, that we want to do on the desserts. So you've actually brought a few of your mason jar desserts. Tell me what's in there. Yes. So uh, the first one is our um, classic tiramisu dessert. And then we have a um, cheesecake, a strawberry cheesecake mousse. And the last one is our chocoholic jar. Mmm, they all sound delicious. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your desserts with me. Thank you for having me. When you're ready for Sonia to create a menu for your wedding, go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on the link for Sachet Desserts. Did you know? The length of the world's longest wedding gown train is nearly three kilometers long. It took the Romanian wedding designer, Andre Salon, just over 100 days to create. Now I get to share with you some beautiful blossoms. I'm here in studio with Christine from L'Atelier Floral. It's you and Tal that have your business, correct? Yes. Tell me a little bit about business and how it started. Yes, actually, we have a quite unique story. Uh, four years ago, I started a nonprofit organization that is related to flowers. So basically, I was uh, recycling flowers, well, repurposing flowers more from events such as weddings, rearranging those flowers, and then delivering them to seniors in hospitals. So I was doing this uh, as a volunteer. And then at some point, Tao got introduced by a member of the team, and we connected so well. And meanwhile, in between all that, I was having a full-time job too in uh, a bank. And uh, I always knew that I wanted to do something more creative. So I started L'Atelier Floral. And then slowly, uh, Tao, she came in naturally with me in the business. So you found your passion, and now you get to create flowers all the time. What is a trend that you see in flowers? You have to obviously work with flowers that are in season. Is that difficult for summer and winter? Actually, uh, during summer, you have the most variety of flowers that you can get. So for sure, uh, it's also more fun for the flowers to work with the bride because we can do almost everything. Actually, there's also some flowers during winter time that we can't get during summer time. So the arrangements are slightly different, but we can still come up with beautiful arrangements. So all the options are still there. Yes. Beautiful. Explain to me what it is that you have brought today. This is a beautiful centerpiece, something that you would see at a spring wedding, perhaps? Yes, actually, uh, we were very inspired by uh, spring and summer, so we love the poppy colors. And what you see here is uh, what we would normally call garden arrangement, which is something very trendy right now. And the uh, garden arrangement is uh, semi-structured. Uh, so every flowers has their 
place in the arrangement. So it looks a bit natural garden, but at the same time, very glam and chic too, because there's a lot of flowers. It is very glam. It brightens up. It almost gives a warmth to the room. So I really appreciate you coming in, you sharing it, you showing it. And now I get to speak with Tal, the other part of your business, correct? Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Now I get to speak with Tal. She's the other half of Let's Edier Floral. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. So take me a little bit through the planning process of when the bride and groom first come to you to start choosing their flowers for the wedding. So firstly, we're an online studio. So they would probably see us through the internet and uh, it would start by an initial consultation, uh, we, w which is n normally done over the phone. Um, so we try to get a, get a grasp of what the bride and groom wants. We get all the information that uh, we needed in order to give them a submission. And from there, um, we work, we find images and inspirations that uh, would be suited for their uh, wedding. So they come in with their, their pictures of other things they've seen, the colors, the types of flowers that they want. Exactly, and also the all the little technicalities around it, yes. So what is one of the biggest misconceptions that maybe a bride and groom have when they come to you to choose flowers? So one of the biggest misconceptions is that they come with beautiful image that they found on the internet and they're, they're lavish, they're beautiful, done by known florists and unfortunately it doesn't always uh, fit the budget. So um, what we try to do the most is uh, we analyze uh, the image, we try to tweak it to Make it work for their yeah, venue, exactly. with their budget. Exactly, and um, we're very transparent with them. If it's something that is not possible for their budget, we will tell them. Mm. Tell me, what is your favorite thing about creating flowers for the wedding day? So definitely our favorite thing is the bridal bouquet. It's the a main piece that inspires us for all the other uh, centerpieces, church arrangement. And it's also the bouquet that we get to deliver to the bride. So we won't get to see her reaction when she sees the centerpieces, but uh, we get a glimpse of the excitement of uh, everybody because usually they're getting ready when we deliver that. And that's definitely our favorite part because it's the one that it's going to be shown in all the pictures pictures, everything, so that's really the main focus. What a moment you get to be a part of. Now I want you to go onto the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Let's Edier Floral, and check out the promotion that they have going on for their floral hat boxes. How do you start planning your destination wedding? With the help of an event planner, of course, and I'm here today with Sharon Boissonneau, an international wedding planner. You're going to give us those answers, aren't you? Yes, I will. Perfect. First and foremost, tell me, what's the difference between an international event planner and just a travel agent? Well, first of all, a travel agent is only going to handle the group travel arrangements versus uh, an international event planner that's going to plan the wedding and tra handle the group travel arrangements. It's important that you work with someone who can also assist with the wedding planning because everything is done from a distance and you need someone who has skills that can make the process smooth and stress-free for the bride and groom. How far in advance should a bride and groom coming to see you? I say minimum a year in advance, depending what's the season when they want to get married. April and May, for example, is booked up 15, 16 months in advance. So if you want to have the best rates and uh, the best resorts and do a sunset wedding or a late afternoon, those are booked really early in advance. So usually we meet with the couple, according to that, a long time in advance. We target resorts and destinations to go with their budget, negotiate group rates, analyze wedding packages, then they choose what they want. And we go ahead and secure the group inventory and the, the wedding also with a deposit. They send out their invitations, guests have three to six months to give in their deposits, and then we go more into the wedding planning and budgeting after that, because we have a more precise headcount. Why is it so important that you have the event planner that can be talking with the hotel? Um, first of all, you need to have all the, the information clear up front before you make any decisions. So you need to know about the different types of weddings, the, the wedding requirements, because you have a civil, symbolic or religious wedding. So you need to know what you need to prepare. If you're doing a civil wedding, there's a lot of paperwork involved. All your documentation normally has to be translated and notarized. And for example, if you're getting married in Mexico, you have to do blood tests. And versus a symbolic wedding where there's no paperwork involved and you actually get married in Canada. So 90% of the couples actually opt to do um, a symbolic wedding because it's easier and it's cheaper. And then you have the religious wedding, which is even more complicated. For example, Catholic wedding has to be done in a chapel. So you need a resort that has a chapel because you can't do a beach wedding. So you really need to know all these things in advance. And also you want to know all the lists of all the extra costs on top of the wedding package because the package can look good, but you always have to add, add, add. So you need to see all those costs before to help you uh, 
estimate the cost of your wedding, and also always keep in mind the U.S. exchange rate. So having all those answers is something that she can really have for you. So it's a really good idea to have someone with that information and that background. Definitely. So sometimes still guests think they can get a better deal online. Why could that turn into a problem? Um, first of all, we get the best discounts when we book a group a year in advance. But on numerous occasions, I've, I've seen people wait. Um, they end up paying more, or sometimes the package sells out, so they have to take another airline, or even the hotel can sell out, so they can't even... I've seen some not being able to go to a wedding because it was sold out, or having to stay at the hotel next door, and then paying a day pass to access to go see, to go spend time with the group. So it's really not recommended. And for the bride and groom, it's, their, it's to their advantage to push everybody to book as a group, a, because they'll get gratuities, and B, when it's time to have modifications or cancellations, the group penalties will be a lot less strict than if you're booking online with full penalties. So how long does usually a destination wedding last? The ceremony itself is approximately 20 minutes, but we can always extend it with a sand ceremony or incorporating traditions, music, dance, uh, have their own vows, anything is possible. So ask it, we can make it happen. And uh, yeah, so usually it's followed by the cocktail hour, photo session, and then the reception. And sometimes we end it with a nice uh, beach party under the stars. Mm, how romantic. Yeah. And unlike a wedding that's here at home, a destination wedding, how long are the guests usually with you? Okay, usually it's a one week event. So people will travel for a week and it's, it, you'll have parties, bachelorettes, bachelor parties happen there, group excursions. So it's a one week of partying, but some people can't make it for the whole week. We always customize packages for three, four, five days. That's not a problem. Bride and groom might fly down a couple days before, stay after to do a honeymoon. Um, anything is possible. And that being said, the honeymoon doesn't have to be at the same location as the destination. No, definitely not. You can fly them off to any other country after the wedding and then fly them back home after that. So whatever they want, we'll make it happen. And in planning the destination wedding, what's one of the biggest tips that you can give a bride and groom? <laughs> to work with a travel agent that's really competent and efficient. Uh, groups are a lot to handle, so you need to work with a pro, not just a regular travel agent. Uh, you need someone that has uh, a lot of experience with wedding planning and group travel, because when problems arrive, if they do, you need someone who's going to be able to fix problems efficiently. And getting everything in writing, you said. Yes, definitely. That's, that's also very important. Uh, all communications between the resort have to be in writing. Even if you discuss things on the phone, always put it in writing after, send an email, ask for a conversation, tack, 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 kindly reconfirm because you don't want to have any misunderstandings when you get down there. And of course, you bring your file with everything printed um, so there's no misunderstandings once you're down there. Make it a lot easier. Yeah. So Sharon, the experience that you have in the industry, how is that helping the bride and groom that are coming to you? Well. I've been doing weddings for a long time and also I took, um, not a break, but I went to work for a wholesaler for a year to get the experience on the back-end packaging. Um, I worked for their wedding department, so I got to learn how the, the pricing, the group contracts and everything. So now when I negotiate for my couples, I use that to my, my and their advantage to negotiate better rates, group conditions, deadlines, extensions, penalties, everything. So it's really come into handy because now it's sort of like a bidding war between wholesalers because they want my group business. So everybody outbids themselves to get my group. So it's really good. It's, it's to the, the, the bride and groom's advantage, definitely. So tell me, Lassa, how do you go above and beyond for brides and grooms? Well, there's a lot of things I do, but I'm not going to share all my secrets, right? But one thing for sure is I approach every wedding as if I was organizing my own wedding. So I take it very personally and I put all my heart and soul into the whole process. Oh, wonderful. And it shows definitely dedication, the information, everything that you have. Yeah. So honestly, a destination wedding doesn't have to be a lot of work for you. That's what she's here for. You go onto our website, click her link, and she can get you started on that. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Showcase Wedding. If you want to share your love story, funny moment, or you want your business on the next episode, please go to the Showcase Wedding website and find all the information you need to contact us. Again, to all the newly engaged brides and grooms, we want to wish you congratulations, felicitations, mazel tov.